Before we start, I want to say thank you for all the support on the last video and hello to all the new subscribers. I love making these kind of videos and as long as you guys want to see them, I'll keep making them. Thank you very much. Okay, here we are at the Salvation Army. This is the wall of video games and movies. Here's some GameCube games like Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Probably a shovelware game, but $2.99. If the game was in there, I would have picked it up. Uh, here's Monster House. That is actually printed artwork. There was no manual and that's not a GameCube case. So three strikes, you're out. I'm not going to pick it up. Uh, but here's the four movie Ninja Turtles pack. I should have picked that up. I don't know why I didn't. And then 50 cent bulletproof. $1.99 is a fine price, but I already have it. So I'm going to leave it here. I really can't make a video without showing the wall of shame. That coffee maker is actually a really good one. That's like industrial. Uh, here we have a cash register. And then over here we have the Ronco, the Showtime. You guys remember that thing? I will have one of those one day, but I'm not going to buy a used one. Uh, this is the CD section, which I recommend everybody check out when you're in any of these stores because there's always games that slip in. Here's the first third at Blind CD. The CD still holds up. It's really well done. It's just a well-written album. And you'll always find games in here, that drag racing game. Who wants to be a millionaire, of course? Uh, it's probably a million copies of that game. Nicktoons Racing, I love the art in this game. But as I'm looking through here, I'm finding these Sega PC collection games. There's a soccer one. I've never seen those before. Here is NBA Action. Here is Last Bronx, which is a game I've never even heard of ever. And then here's NBA Action 98, which is actually the same as the previous one. It just has a different cover. And then finally, we have this Disney Monsters, Inc. game. I couldn't believe how many Dane Cook CDs were in here. I mean, there's at least half of a dozen. And there's the four of them right there. It is a series. There's more, but those are the four that were here. You guys want to see the most ridiculous keyboard ever made? Well, here it is. This is Winnie the Pooh thing that is just insane. I don't know what to say about this. Like, the only, the only thing I can think to do with this is just shoot it into space and forget it even existed. Here's a shake weight. I saw a guy walking around using one of these. Like he just picked up off the shelf and he was just kind of working out as he was strolling, I guess. I don't know. It'll sit there forever. These are two games that I ended up picking up. We got the N Plus here, $2.99. Uh, the game's open, but it is complete and in really nice shape. And then Serious Sam 2 for $2.99, which was a previous Blockbuster rental. And that's probably about market price for these, but I don't have them. And yeah, I'm willing to pick them up for that price. Here's an overview of those Sega games, the Sega PC games and what the discs look like. They're just cool. I mean, I really couldn't pass them up. I was hoping they'd be 99 cents, but she charged me $1.99 a piece. I forked it over anyway. Here's Serious Sam 2 taken out of that case and put into an actual Xbox case. And here's N Plus just cleaned up. Both of these were $2.99, but even though it was probably the going rate, I didn't have either of them. And this Blockbuster insert was actually in with the Serious Sam game. And I mean, it's worthless, but it's kind of cool to see. It's like a relic from the past, you know. Uh, here we are at Savers again, the one by where I work. This is the same shelf from before. Here we have a couple. We have some new games. Here's Guitar Hero 3. This is pretty much the only version of this game that has any value or the one that anybody even wants. This is Legends of Rock uh, for the 360, $1.99. I'm going to pick it up. And then here's Backbreaker. This is a game I don't ever see. Uh, it's $2.99. It is complete. The disc was pretty scratched up, but it's all right. The rest of this stuff is just junk. Here is a, something you don't see every day. This is a Grand Theft Auto 4 lockbox. Uh, this is $4.99. It's pretty beat up, but it came with the original collector's edition of Grand Theft Auto 4. I'm very surprised this isn't locked shut, and I'm even less surprised that there's no keys to come with this. Here's a Hello Kitty CD player. $2.99. I picked it up. I cleaned it all up. It works really well. I uh, hooked it up to some speakers yesterday, and it worked fine. This is the toy section here. I don't know if anyone out there knows anything about these leapfrogs and if there's ever even one good exclusive game on it, but leave a comment below if there is. And also about this V-Smile thing. I mean, this is $29.99 and it doesn't come with any cables that aren't hardwired into it. But still, I mean, do these have even one good game? I don't, I don't know. These are VHS tape holders and I don't know what the bottom one is supposed to hold, maybe a VCR, but I really regret actually not buying the bottom one because I could have put some systems in there and I, I did pass on it and it wasn't there the next time I went. This is how I store my loose Master System and Sega Genesis games. They fit right in the old cassette tape holders. And the two that are showing here are actually a matching pair, so they look good together. 
Here's the overview of the stuff that I got at Savers. There's the Hello Kitty CD player. I was rocking out to the Who with this yesterday. I cleaned it all up and it looks good. It actually has some pretty nice modes on there. There's Backbreaker and Legends of Rock cleaned up. And as a whole, this is everything I got. There's two Doc McStuffins DVDs that I got from my niece. Don't judge me. They were $1.50 each. And here we go with the flea market. This is one of my favorite flea markets I've ever been to. And this is the outside part. This guy just had a bunch of overpriced movies and stuff. I think he had a stack of PS2 sports games and he said he wanted $10 a piece. So I'm walking away from that. Over here to the left, you can kind of see some green cases. Those are some Xbox games I picked up that you'll see later. I just really like this flea market. It costs a dollar to get in. There's booths inside that are there all the time. And then the ones that are outside that are just there in the months that aren't winter. And you can find everything here from these yoga pants here to plants, to fruit, to video games, to lawnmowers, to televisions. There's everything here. There's a bicycle just hanging out. Now here's the part that's actually indoor. I went on Saturday morning and on Saturday, this is what the inside looks like. It is legitimately dead. Nobody is here. On Sunday, outside and inside will just be filled to the brim with people. But Saturday is really just the outside thing. Everyone in here is just doing something else. This place also has its own cafeteria and a hot dog stand outside. One thing that's weird about this place is I've been here tons of times and I still do not understand the floor plan. I get lost every time I'm in here. I can never find my way back to the beginning from the end. Uh, here's one guy who's there all the time. and But you can just see it's dead overall. You know, Sunday's the lucrative time for these people to be here. And then here we have this Ghostbusters cartoon bedsheet, which is pretty cool. So let's go over my finds from the flea market. I gave a lady $15 for this bag. Inside was Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels World Race. I've been looking for this game for a while. It is complete. I just don't see it very often. Uh, next in there is a DualShock 3 controller. Let's call it like the Pokemon Guide. Well loved. This thing's definitely seen better days. And a PS3 Move controller. Easily worth the $15. One vendor had Xbox and 360 games for $2 a piece. Here's BMX XX. I've been looking for this game because I wanted to play with the noobs. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Here's Monopoly Streets. No manual here, but overall it's in pretty clean condition. And then here's Hasbro Family Game Night. So the guy had a pretty decent selection of games. Two bucks a piece. I probably should have talked him down to five for all three. Here's 50 Cent Blood in the Sand. I don't have this game and I never see it cheap, so when I saw it out on a table for $3, I picked it up. Here is L.A. Noir, the Complete Edition for the 360. This was 50 cents. I just had a bin of 50 cent items. Also, this lamb from Doc Stuffins was in that bin too, so I picked it up. I beat L.A. Noir back on the 360, but I wanted to play the extra content. And here is an NES U-Force. This is an accessory for the NES. I didn't have one. This was clean. It was $5 and it came with two of the controllers. Here's new Super Mario Bros. Wii. This doesn't have its manual, but I'm surprised how much this game has shot up in value. Uh, here's Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock. I know I picked it up earlier, but some guy had a bin of three things for a dollar. This was in there and he said, oh, you can take whatever else you want, two other things for a buck, but everything was so junk I just walked away with that. This Super Nintendo lot here cost me $6. It's probably my find of the year, honestly. Uh, Mech Warrior was also in there. Clay Fighter 2 Judgment Clay. Along with this off-brand SNES controller. This was just sitting out on a, on a table at 10 in the morning. And there's the manual for NBA Live 96. And then the find of the year, probably for me, this is a complete Final Fantasy 3. It was just sitting on a table at 10 a.m. $6 for that Super Nintendo lot. Here's the stuff I'm going to use to clean everything up. Here's what all the stuff looks like after I got it out of the car and into the house. As you see, new Super Mario Bros. Wii there, and then Final Fantasy 3 in there. The U-Force. I shot this on Cinco de Mayo, so I picked up a Corona on my way home. And let's clean it all up.
All right, here's a closer look at that Final Fantasy 3 that I found. The box is a little beat up, but I mean, nobody took any care of this. So the fact that it's not just completely destroyed and burned in a fire is like a miracle. We're seeing this being opened together. So for all I knew, NBA Jam was actually in here. And this is uh, the manual for Final Fantasy 3. I mean, it has a little, little damage, but overall it's in great shape. I mean, to find this at a flea market for a couple bucks, I don't care what the condition is. Uh, and here's the map. There was actually a piece of tape in here holding it together. I tried to pry it open like very neatly and nicely, but I had to actually cut it, the tape with a, a knife later. So you're not going to be able to see it open, but it does have a rip down one of the creases. So it isn't mint. And then here's the cart. It's in actually beautiful shape. And without a doubt, I'm going to say this is go probably already going to be my find of the year or right up there. This is also my favorite game of all time. And here's the overview of everything I found this week out game hunting. There's the U-Force and New Super Mario Bros. Wii, five bucks a piece. I hear the three Xbox games I got from that one seller, two dollars each. I guess I'm just tripping over Guitar Hero 3s this week. I actually found two of them at the flea market and one more at the thrift store. Here's the lamb from uh, Doc McStuffins and L.A. Noir. Those were 50 cents a piece. Uh, here's the DualShock 3. I need to put a new thumbstick cover on that. And I mean, it's beat up, but it charges fine, and it holds a charge, and it works fine, so it works for me. Hot Wheels World Race, very excited to own that. Here's the PlayStation Move controller. I come across those every now and then. And here's this awesome Super Nintendo lot, NBA Live 96, Final Fantasy 3, Clay Fighter 2, Judgment Clay, and Mech Warrior. Also came with this third-party controller. And this actually has a Blockbuster sticker on the back. Which means there's actually two blockbuster things in this video because the Serious Sam box are ahead of two. Weird. Blood in the Sand is here. I'm just a game I have been looking for. I've been wanting to try. And this is an overview of all the stuff I found at the flea market. So very successful week for me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. And as always, stay nerdy. Getting your nerd on. Getting your nerd on. Getting your nerd on. I got a raging nerd on.